Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at installing the Mighty Cord 7 pole wiring adapter for in bed wiring. Now this is a great option for any gooseneck or RV that you might be towing and that way you're not having to drape that 7 pole over your bed. You have power that just jumps into your factory wiring or your factory 7 pole down below. So pretty easy to have that power right here. Today on this truck, we actually installed the rail as well as the Patriot fifth wheel. And this is the perfect final touch and complement to these because if you're hooking up to your fifth wheel, your chances are you're gonna be plugging in and having to drape that over again is just kind of a pain. So if you have your plug right here, you can plug that in and you still maintain your factory seven way on the back of the truck as well. And this living in the bed is no problem because it's spring loaded. So it's gonna keep any water and moisture from getting in the plug and that way it stays nice and clean and ready to go for when you use it. Now as far as installation goes, pretty simple. You're just gonna be drilling a hole to fit your plugs through and then just bolting in this part of the plug and then plug it into your factory seven way. So let's take a look at that and get your plug installed. Our first step and probably the most crucial step is making sure that we get this mounted exactly where we want it. And I think best spot, I'm gonna kind of shoot for right here. It's gonna allow for enough depth for this to sit in there as well as the plug. So you also wanna make sure you don't have anything like wiring here, like we have our in-bed wiring, so, or our in-bed lighting. We don't wanna catch any of those wires. So this is generally a pretty safe spot. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just kind of eyeball this. And I think it's gonna look pretty good here. Just kind of find that center point. And I'm gonna make just a pilot hole here. Now be careful also, uh, once you kind of poke through, make sure you don't go all the way. Obviously you don't want to put a ding on the outside of your bed. So now I'm coming back with a two inch hole saw uh, and this is going to allow that plug to slide through. So we'll just follow that pilot hole we had and just go ahead and run it through. Now with the bed liner, sometimes these can get a little bit tricky. So I just kind of put it in reverse first to kind of create that nice circle on the bed liner so it doesn't catch. Now you can see there was that little extra corrugation in there, but uh, I went through and just kind of followed through with that hole saw and cut that out as well. So now I'm gonna go back with the file just to kind of get these sharp edges. You gotta realize that we, uh, it should, the plug should kind of keep it from rubbing on here or chafing on it, but we wanna get all these sharp edges taken off. So go through and file those down. Now this is going to be covered by the plug, but this is also going to be raw exposed metal. So just for a preventative uh, measure, just make sure we don't have any rust on this raw edge. We're going to go ahead with some clear spray paint, uh, just a clear coat here. Uh, if you have black, that'll work all the same, but just kind of coat those edges, make sure that's a little protected. So now we're going to have our plug. We're going to be feeding these, uh, the two sided part down first. Uh, you could pull it up. Sometimes this can get a little bit tricky. And again, remember those edges, I sanded them down, but you want to make sure you're not chafing on those wires. So just kind of feed these down one at a time and it can get tight here. So just kind of, uh, you may have to play around with it, feeding one than the other. And this one is a little bit tighter here. So if we need to, we can cut out just a little bit more, but the two ends should allow this to kind of pop through. We have to find a nice angle though. We'll just pass the rest of our wire loom down and it should make its way to the bottom of the truck, but we don't want to pass it all the way down. We want to keep this plug here and this is going to attach into this plug receptacle. But before doing that, I'm going to put a little bit of dielectric grease on here just for a nice clean connection. It's going to prevent any moisture from building up and causing any corrosion in our wires. And we can go pretty heavy on this, just kind of coat all, all of our parts of our plug here. And again, this is just going to kind of keep moisture from really building up and causing these to break down over time. So now that we've got that coated, this just goes on. You can see and this little section just snaps in. So make sure you kind of Press it down nice and tight. You should hear it kind of snap into place. There we go. 
And now we can feed this through. And then we're gonna take our self-tapping screws and get this mounted up. And then we'll just get the rest of them up. So now we'll head under the vehicle to make our connections. Now it might be worth lowering your spare tire and getting that out of the way just to make it a little bit easier, but you're gonna look for where your factory seven-way plug is, and we're gonna go ahead and get this separated. Should just have a tab there, so we'll just push this. And all that's really gonna do is, these are gonna jumper into each other. Uh, it's pretty hard to mess up here. It's just gonna kinda plug in like this, but we do need to make sure that this is run cleanly that it's going to clear our spare tire and that it's not going to be dragging down over time. So I'm going to get this kind of routed up and using the zip ties in the kit, I'll get it all clean and then uh, we'll get this plugged in. I'm going to coat these up with some dielectric grease as well. And you're going to have quite a bit of extra slack, so it's worth routing it nice and clean um, and then getting your connections made. And then from there you can go back and zip tie it all back up. Just make sure you hear that nice click there and that you know that they're attached. So I go ahead and just kind of zip tied this all up, keeping it nice and clean. Our excess wire I bundled up here and there's plenty of spots to be able to zip tie this up. I've also zip tied it up over here so it's not flopping around. So all that's left to do, get your spare tire back up and we're going to go ahead and test it. Now we're gonna go ahead and test to make sure that it works and I highly suggest doing that before you hit the road. So you can hook yours up to your RV um, and we have a seven pull tester here which is gonna simulate it. And I'll go hop in the vehicle, run it through the light sequence and make sure that they're all lighting up. So we'll start off with our running lights. Next we'll do our left turn signal, our right turn signal, and our brakes. And that was a look and installation of the Mighty Cord seven pole wiring adapter for in-bed wiring.